it's getting down to the end here. Just just less than four laps to go. Could either be saving fuel or anything here. I was kind of wondering that too. <laughs> we are, we are good. You got too much gas in the thing. <laughs> The lead is 2.7 seconds right now between Brad Keselowski and the all-time winningest driver in NASCAR Nationwide Series history. That man right there, Mark Martin. That's the big if there. Mark Martin doesn't know that he can make it. He's been trying to, I'm sure, trying to save fuel because he's been told. He's going to try to stretch it and make it to the end. Justin Allgaier running in third. And there you see him. He is coming hard. Then Danica Patrick is in fourth, Trevor Bain in fifth. Next time by, there will be two laps remaining. The gap is now 2.2 seconds between first and second. Danica is 14 seconds behind the race lead. Keselowski, what a day, what a story this whole weekend. They started, you gotta be kidding me. they started with a crash, and they have been fighting their way back. But Mark Martin, there he is. Look out. Oh, something wrong with the Keselowski's 22. out of fuel. He's up into the wall. He's got a flat tire. Flat tire. Get her out here. Quite Mark low, Martin girl. takes over the lead. Mark Martin, who said he didn't have enough race car underneath him. And you said, DJ, don't believe him. When he says that, he usually ends up winning. And here he comes. He's going to extend that all-time mark. Mark Martin comes down to win here in Las Vegas. We won, man. We won, dude. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wow. Second place, Justin Allgaier. And the question will be, where does Danica Patrick finish in this? Because third place is Brad Keselowski. And coming across the stripe with her career best finish, Danica Patrick in fourth. Trevor Bain fifth. Our pole sitter Carl Edwards sixth. Denny right, Hammond right. and yeah, Ricky Stenhouse. Yeah, you won, man. <laughs> I can't believe that. Fourteen drivers are less than half the age of our race winner yes. that were in this field today. It's two races in a row. Brad Keselowski's blown that right front, though. This one he did manage to finish. The other two he did not. You know, when I first heard him say, are you kidding me? It was like, holy smokes, we made it. You know, after all the adversity. And then all of a sudden we saw him slow and then head to the wall. Yeah, I saw Mark Martin really gaining on him. So I thought maybe that Brad was having some fuel issues at that time. Then as he got down to turn one and wouldn't turn. Absolutely unreal. Wow, how this race changed. I mean, from Kyle Busch dominating early. Then Denny Hamlin, Carl Edwards going at it. Mark Martin's last three nationwide series wins. Congratulations, race, friends, and everybody. Right March of 05, 08, and now 2011. And he stretches his all time win mark to 49. That'll add another race or two to Kyle's quest at trying to pass Mark Martin. This is the second win for Trent Owens, crew chief for Mark Martin. Can you hear the crowd out there? They they got their money's worth in this one, and they're loving it. Just listen. So Mark extends his record book. Brad Keselowski extends his frustration for 2011 in the Nationwide Series. And Danica Patrick rewrites the page for herself. Danica Patrick getting hugs all around her crew, everybody that stood behind you, girl. What a difference a year makes. What was the difference today for you? Uh, just, you know, we worked so hard on the car this weekend. Um, we went from loose to tight to loose to tight with the same setup at times. So we, we worked really hard and we did have a lot of practice time, which was good. It kind of confused us along the way, but my car was really good to start. Um, missed those lucky dogs like three more times uh, and then finally got it. And uh, 
I asked Tony if he'd tighten it up, take a take take a swing at it, not a little one, and um, and he did. And thank goodness, because I was a little tight to start, but it allowed me to be, me to be consistent at the end. And it was 31 eighths every lap, and you know I was just able to be cautious and and not overdrive. And it didn't mean I wasn't getting sideways down in three and four, but uh, but it was a good day, good day for the GoDaddy car, good day for Junior Motorsports, and uh, yeah, I was hoping for a top ten today. That was my secret goal. Well, Tony, you're a junior. Five, but we got a top five. Your crew chief told all of us he would have been disappointed if you didn't get a top ten. A lot of people go, really? Is that possible? Were you optimistic? I was because of last year, and then I didn't know what to expect coming into the race because I didn't, uh, you know, qualifying wasn't perfect and practice was up and down, and so, you know, I thought, okay, we got, we got a new car. Maybe we just need to figure something out, but, um, you know, hopefully we can learn something so both Eric and I will both be up there uh, come the next mile and a half and we can, uh, we can run it. Do you realize you made history yet again, girl? <laughs> well... You know, I uh, le leading the lap at Daytona was good, and that was good history. But I said then that, you know, I'm hoping to make a lot more. All right. I think a lot of people took notice. She finished fourth, the highest ever for a female in NASCAR. Marty? All right. Thank you, Jamie. And, yes, it was a very interesting day for the seven driver. All right. Let's go to victory lane. This guy's been there 49 times. Vince, let's talk to him. Going to be a big celebration here, I guarantee it, as Mark Martin gets to victory lane. He's familiar with this location, but this Turner Motorsports team will, as Trent Owen said, be celebrating tonight. Mark Martin's first run in the Turner Motorsports car leads his team to victory lane. I don't know if you're a gambler, my friend, but I think a lot of people are going to be playing the number 32 on the wheel tonight. Congratulations. How's it? How fortunate do you feel to be in victory lane considering the day you were having? Well, Trent Owens, you know, deserves that one. All the credit for it. Uh, you know, he made the right calls. And, uh, you know, uh, the only chance we had was to save, save, save. I couldn't, you know, no, no other way. So I just decided I wasn't going to run out of gas. I, and, uh, and then uh, with two to go, I went ahead and stepped on it. I figured I was close enough I could run out if I, if I, if I would then. So... Thanks to John Dollar General and this whole race team. It's so cool to see these guys get their win, get their first win, and it's just awesome. Turner Motorsports, one, two. Um, golly, that's a storybook ending for me. What went through your mind when you saw that Keselowski had blown the tire and was going to the wall? Well, he is, he was slowing quite a bit, so uh, you know I knew that he was uh, either having fuel trouble or something. So I went ahead and stepped on it. And, Tried to catch up to him. You had some contact, I believe, with Sadler. You guys had some issues throughout the day, the fuel. How surprised are you to have won this race, Mark? Uh, I can't believe it. You can't win. I don't care how hard you try, you can't win these things. You just can't do it. And then when it's time, it just happens. Yeah. Well said. His last three nationwide victories have come here at Vegas. And boy, how sweet it is for the Turner Motorsports team, Marty. Victory number one. And a very well-deserved and very popular victory certainly with the fans that were here you could hear them in the background as the celebration continues Penske racing team looking over the right front corner of that 22 car that led the race at the white flag but not at the check well, I tell you what a Brad K came from out of nowhere we were just talking about him how he's had a, a tough day a tough week in this nationwide series and had taken the lead was going to walk away and win this thing right front tire goes down and that was all she wrote.